What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again, and welcome to episode 34 of Mining Rig Wars. I've been super, super busy trying to get this PC mod ready to go, but that being said, we are still going to get this week's episode in, regardless of how many of y'all even watch it anymore. And yes, please stop commenting and going onto my live streams and telling me the YouTube channel's dead. I'm very aware. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop making them. I've been making YouTube videos for six years, and that was way before the crypto boom and a lot of y'all came along and yes I am very aware that it's all fair weathered stuff if you guys are actually interested in the content and hanging out cool then that's all that matters that aside if you would like to vote for your favorite rig click the I up in the corner and if you'd like to submit email submissions at sonofatech.com or head on over to sonofatech.com and click the submit your rig button without further ado Starting things off, we have Rig A, no directory, which is what I named it because uh, his name is Nadir and he didn't actually name the rig and I just thought that it was funny, so I called it no directory. He's rocking six MSI RX 570 four gigabyte GPUs, an MSI Z170A M5 motherboard, four gigabytes of DDR4, a 1200 watt Corsair power supply, a G4400 CPU, and all of the cards are BIOS modded and overclocked. He used simple mining for the mining and his hash rate is 173 mega hash a second. Rig B is named Rig 1, super clever there by Will. He's rocking the Asus 1060 3 gigabyte cards, six of them. All of them did come with Samsung memory, which is pretty cool. He's got the ASRock BTC 2.0 Pro, and then he has a G3220 uh, CPU in there. The memory is two sticks of DDR3, four gigabytes of the Hynix, and he has the Corsair HX850i with the PCIe risers. They are the Corn Electronics version 008. His frame is custom made. He did it at Home Depot with metal and wood construction. His accessories include a five and a half inch touchscreen fan controller, the THZY Aerial 880mm CPU cooling fan grills and some uh, push button switch and other various things, a wireless link as well as some Arctic fans. They are the fluid dynamic bearings, so that's pretty nice. They are 80 millimeter though, so they're still probably kind of loud, even though the fluid dynamics are quite a bit quieter. Now his hash rate on Zcash is 1600 to 1650 solutions a second, and on ETH is 125 to 130 mega hash a second. Moving on to Rig C, work in progress by Diego Pedro. He's actually a fellow YouTuber and he focuses on uh, cryptocurrencies in Spanish. So if that's right up your alley, which I'm sure some of y'all are, go head on to his channel. Link will be, of course, in the description below. He's rocking a home-built wooden frame with Windows 10, a Gigabyte GAMA 770S3 with a socket AM2 plus. His CPU is an AMD Athlon 64X2 5400. His RAM is two sticks of DDR2 and a Cooler Master V1000 gold power supply. He has a 500 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda drive and the cards include an MSI Armor 8 gigabyte RX 570, an MSI R Armor 4 gigabyte RX 570, a gigabyte 4 gigabyte RX 470, and a gigabyte 4 gigabyte RX 560. On ETH, his total hash rate is 102 mega hash a second. Moving on to Rig D, we have Eclipse by Rubber Panda, who is a community member and over in our Discord, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Super awesome to see you submitting here, bud. He has eight 1080 Ti's. <laughs> and they include an ASUS Poseidon, an ASUS Strix ROG, 
four MSI Gaming X editions and two Gigabyte Aorus editions. The motherboard is the Asus B250 Mining Expert and he has a G3930 going classic there. He has eight gigabytes of DDR4 and three Corsair 850 watt power supplies. He's around 4200 solutions a second mining Equihash and that's with uh, six GPUs and then if he bumps up with eight he has 5600 solutions a second. I'm not sure why he specified the difference there. Possibly because the hash rate per card decreases. I'd, I'd need to do the math out over that. Finally we have hash or die by Duff. He's rocking the EVGA 650 watt gold power supply, the Deepcool 750 watt gold power supply, an Asus GTX 1050 2GB, 2 gigabyte 1050 Ti 4GB, an EVGA 1050 Ti 4GB, an ASUS 1050 Ti 4GB. Are you catching the trend here? Oh, and it breaks here with a Zotac GTX 1066GB. He has the 006 C risers and his hash rate is 1200 solutions a second on Equihash. Going back through these rig, he has a super clean and well set up frame here, custom built with wood and does appear to actually have some cable management going on. So super good job there, Duff. The only thing of course would be going ahead and telling us what actual motherboard that is. I can't tell, I believe that is the Asus from what I, from what I can see there, but you know, let us know and the processor and the memory. So we really didn't get all the details that we needed there, unfortunately. Moving back through to Rig D, Eclipse by Rubber Panda. A super awesome community member, obviously has some hash power going down with all those uh, 10, not, <laughs> with all those 1080 Ti's. It does look like, I'm not really sure what's going on with the case. It looks like uh, an old, uh, what are those? Like the, the crates that you put like amps and stuff in? He didn't say what it was. I really like that. I like that you can roll it around as well. So super awesome there. Thanks for the submission, Rubber Panda. On Work in Progress by Diego, it looks like we probably want to go check out his YouTube channel, link in the description, to see if he's made any more progress on his current setup. Everything is looking good as far as the framing goes, of course, working on some cable management. Just because you don't have that many cards doesn't mean you can't keep your cables nice and tidy. There you go. Rig B Rig 1 by Will has the best aesthetics in my humble opinion, both with just the color theme of that white there, along with the cable management. Mwah. Good job, good sir. I really think that's a really clean setup. I like the screen, of course. Having that on the front is, well, at the very least, interesting. It does seem like it does hold a purpose with the fan controller, of course, at this point you know with all the remote management I don't know if you really want a fan controller I, I don't know what the advantage of spending money on a fan controller that is you know not accessible remotely unless it I guess unless it is accessible remotely would be finally rig a no directory is what I would call a perfect example starter build you have six MSI RX 570s they are all matching cards making it super easy to put together the processor is the G4400, just like I've recommended plenty of times in the past. He didn't go with more than four gigabytes of DDR4, and he's using a really good Linux distribution option, Simple Mining. The only thing there, of course, is I would go with Hive OS instead of Simple Mining, so I don't have to pay until I have more than three rigs. And that's kind of my thoughts as far as that goes. If you guys want to come mine, we've only stood up two pools so far. We have, or re-stood up two pools, well, three pools. We have Pearl back online at Pearl .com. We have Ryo, which is the fork from Sumo Coin, the GPU friendly fork, so it's Crypto Knight heavy, and that's at Ryo.SonOfAttack.com. And I'm messing around with Aeon Pool, which is at Aeon.SonOfAttack.com uh, or AeonPool.us. However, I've only been testing by myself. If you go throw some hash power on there, keep in mind that's all beta. If payouts don't work or something's broken, it's broken. I need help figuring it out though because I've only been, I don't have enough hash power to do more than get really orphaned blocks at this point. I have the API working for the most part except for the pool hash rate which seems to be 
uh, across the entire board. Super interesting stuff going on in, of course, the mining pool scene with me. I've been really busting ass on it, so hope you guys appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, comment, and subscribe down below. And other than that, I'll see you next Tuesday.